Embryonic stem cells come from embryos. Pretty self-explanatory. Induced pluripotent stem cells you can actually make from your own skin. So you'll collect a skin sample from your patient, take it to the lab. In a dish, you'll do some chemical magic to convert those skin cells into stem cells. And then from there, you can turn them into almost anything that you want to. Almost anything. But what's the difference between these two sources? Who cares if you're getting the stem cells from embryos or if you're getting it from your own skin cells? Of course, there are the controversial elements related to ethics. That aside, there's actually a biological argument for one over the other as well. Doctors usually won't use immunosuppressants for a patient who's receiving induced pluripotent stem cells derived from their own bodies. That is a huge advantage over embryonic stem cells. With embryonic stem cells, because it's coming from a donor source, so it's not coming from your own body, it's coming from somebody else, that means you need to take immunosuppressants. Otherwise, your body could reject the cells altogether, your immune system could start attacking the cells, and that could cause a lot of serious health problems for you as the patient. But then even when you do take immunosuppressants, there are risks associated with those drugs. Now you're a lot more susceptible to infections. I was just reading about a case report of a patient dying in a clinical trial, not because of the stem cell therapy that they were receiving, but because of the immunosuppressants that they were taking, the patient ended up getting an infection and unfortunately they passed away. That's not to say that all immunosuppressants are bad. Plenty of people take them without any issues. I'm just saying that there are risks associated with the use of immunosuppressants. And if you can get around it, that'd be ideal. This clip is from Dr. Lila's full episode on cell therapies for Parkinson's disease. Head over to the channel and check it out now, then subscribe to stay up to date on all things health science.